Hi, this is Donald with Birding for Beginners. Last time we spoke about sparrows, and in particular the Cape Sparrow. This time we're going to look at pigeons, and this time not just located in Southern Africa. In fact, it's an international pigeon, quite famous in many ways. Let's wait for the end. In South Africa we have many pigeons. Pigeons are part of the dove family. All pigeons are doves, but not all doves are pigeons. That can be quite confusing. But let's state that all pigeons are doves. So sort of a subcategory to the doves. In South Africa we have many pigeons. We have the African green pigeon, the African olive pigeon, the feral pigeon, the remeron pigeon, the rock pigeon, the speckled pigeon, just to start with. We know the pigeons quite well. In the cities, they are all over the place. They're a bird that's just over a foot long, or 32 to 33 centimeters. And they're fairly heavy compared to a sparrow. They are 400 grams. Not quite a pound, but nearly. The bill is straight. It's also the color of bone, you know, typical hoof color. And it's very useful having a straight bill when you pick up things like seeds and potato chips and all sorts of things that people leave right lying around. And if you want to get to know how big the, the beak is, compare it to the size of the head of the bird. And the pigeon's beak is roughly the same length as the width of the head of a bird. That gives you a place to start measuring the comparative size of the, of the beak of the bird. A pigeon is not really a perching bird. It tends to do far more walking than, than perching. So therefore it has straight legs and they walk. If we go back to our sparrow, we'll see that the sparrow hops and the pigeons are quite good at walking from bit place to place. They're more upright than the, the sparrows. And again, they are quite a tame bird. They have come to enjoy cohabitation of people where they get a lot of their food from. The plumage is very variable, mostly grey, and as you can see from the picture, that's a typical pigeon. But we also get white ones and speckled ones. Well, not quite speckled, but mottled and all sorts of things. A speckled pigeon is a different bird. It has distinct markings on it. Pigeons are, or the feral pigeons, are mostly found in cities and on rocks and on ledges where they make their nests. They use all sorts of building material, like twigs and, twigs and sticks and probably bits of plastic and stuff to make their nests. People don't like them very much because they make a hang of a mess of the place. They mess all over the buildings. Some people have referred to pigeons as flying rats. I think that's a little harsh. I quite enjoy the pigeon. But that is because they leave behind their lice, which most birds have, and it crawls into the buildings and infests them, and it just really is a messy bird. The feral pigeon, as I said, is, international, is of international fame. It originally came to South Africa in the early 1800s from Netherlands with the ships that came out then. Later on, other immigrants brought it out from other parts of Europe. And to, today, they're all over all or most of the cities in South Africa, a lot of the towns too. In the monasteries, they have pigeonholes. That sounds funny, a pigeonhole. We always think about that as where we put papers and things, but actually that's where it comes from. On the outside is the access to the whole wide world and the pigeons come in 
and that's where they nest. And then the monks, well, they stick their hands in and they get the eggs out from the inside. So again, there's a mutual cohabitation there. They're also famous. They feature very highly in the, in the movie Mary Poppins. You all remember the little girl wanted to feed the pigeons. And that was the collapse of the bank. Can you imagine a pigeon collapsing a bank in banking? Well, if you want to know how that happened, go and watch Mary Pigeons, Mary Poppins. It's quite an intriguing story. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, we're going to watch, we're going to talk about the guinea fowl. Rather a famous, uh, rather a, an enjoyable bird in South Africa. Well, we'll talk about that then. See you later. Bye.